Hello, and welcome to the glorious world of ancient Greece. Today, we'll explore the Minoan Palace of Knossos on the island of Crete, and explore its advanced technology and mythology. Knossos Palace was the biggest palace on the Greek island of Crete. The palace was first built around 2000 BCE. That's almost 4,000 years ago. Knossos quickly became the biggest city in the Minoan world around 1700 BCE, during what we call the Bronze Age. The site of Knossos is one of the most famous in Greek mythology. The palace itself was the home of King Minos, the father of the Minotaur. The Minotaur was a mythical creature with the head and tail of a bull and the body of a man. The most famous story is of the hero Theseus finding his way through the labyrinth, or big maze, to fight and kill the Minotaur. Here I'm controlling Cassandra, who is a warrior that travels and explores ancient Greece with her eagle, Icaros. The palace of Knossos had two main buildings, the old palace and the new palace. Those were connected by a central courtyard, or a big open space with plants, animals, and room to just hang out, with several smaller courtyards scattered around. The courtyards would have been used for public ceremonies and entertainment. The buildings around the central courtyard were mainly storage rooms, living spaces, and administrative centers, where the Minoan people would have worked, like one big open office building, kind of like Pixar Studios in California. The old palace was already ancient by 1700 BCE, so it would have been empty at this time. So instead, we are now heading into the new palace. The ground floor of the new palace mainly had several huge storage areas where they kept large storage jars of oil, grain, wine, dried fish, beans, and olives for things like trading, religious rituals, and sporting events. The walls of the palace were painted with beautiful frescoes featuring bright colors and often showed ancient sports events with bulls, women dressed in fancy clothes, and colorful artwork with animals and flowers. Under the storage jars were stone holes where valuable treasures and gold were hidden. We are heading up to the second floor to check out a large room called the Piano Nobile, which is just a fancy Italian word that means noble floor. This was a big fancy showroom that in real life was decorated with wall paintings showing nature scenes of plants and animals like snakes and dolphins. The space was used for the king to meet ordinary citizens and welcome foreign guests. The living rooms would have been directly upstairs on the third floor. The living space above and other places around the palace had real toilets, bathtubs, and water pipes made out of a baked clay called terracotta. Now, we will head down to check out the basement levels of the palace. In mythology, the labyrinth where the Minotaur lived was deep underground below the new palace. The palace was also home to lots of bull statues and bull horn shaped religious altars that were used for religious sacrifices. The ancient Minoans worshipped bulls thanks to the mythological connection to the Minotaur and because cows were an important resource for food and trade. The basement levels were extra storage rooms and kept official palace records written on clay tablets. These tablets recorded business deals and other trades. They are very special because they are the oldest form of recorded writing in the Greek world. In Greek mythology, the labyrinth was constructed by Daedalus, an inventor who also made wings out of wax for his son, Icarus, in order for him to fly. In the now infamous tale, Daedalus asked his son Icarus to stay far away from the sun in the sky while flying because his wax wings would melt. But Icarus didn't listen. He flew too high, the wings melted, and he fell into the sea and died. Devastated by his son's death, 
Daedalus accepted a job from King Minos and moved to Crete. Since Icarus loved to fly like a bird, the creators of the game named our bird Icarus after him. A cool fact once you know the myth. Now we're heading down to the front door of the labyrinth. Here, we'll learn about the myth of the Minotaur and the Athenian hero Theseus. King Minos was ashamed to have a monster like the Minotaur for a son and wanted to hide him away, so he asked Daedalus to build the labyrinth to keep the Minotaur inside. The Minotaur was a very big hungry monster and needed a lot of food to live. King Minos made a deal with his enemies in Athens that forced them to send seven young boys and girls every year to be eaten by the Minotaur. The Athenian prince Theseus sailed to Crete to kill the Minotaur and save the kids. But the maze was dangerous and impossible to get through. However, Princess Ariadne, the daughter of King Minos, fell in love with Theseus and gave him a thread, which is a long string of yarn. He tied the thread to a rock outside, went into the labyrinth, killed the Minotaur, and followed the thread like a rope that traced the right way through the maze back out again. Now we're going to head back up and out to the central courtyard to get one last look at the giant palace complex of Knossos. The size, artwork, and advanced technology of Knossos is what made this palace the biggest and most famous site in Crete. It had over a thousand rooms. That's bigger than most modern hotels. Because the palace was up on a hill, it was high enough that it would catch a sea breeze during the summer. The unique Minoan columns were painted bright red, a color we don't normally see on the columns until the Romans conquered Greece over a thousand years later. The palace at Knossos was the most popular place on Crete to trade, watch entertainment, and hold religious festivals. Things were going great until one day, Everything suddenly stopped, and all Minoan palaces, including Knossos, were abandoned. We don't know exactly why this happened, and it's still one of the biggest mysteries in history left to be solved. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the short tour, because the ancient Minoan palace of Knossos was, and still is, a really cool place. I hope you will explore the game on your own and walk around the amazing digital world of ancient Greece in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. There's so much more to explore and discover. Have fun!